what I learned over the years, unless you believe and have conviction within in terms of what you're saying, what you're advocating for, you're not going to be successful. And people will see right through that. The jury will see right through it. The opposing attorney is going to see right through it. The prosecutor is going to see right through it. I think there's a misconception that in order for an attorney to be successful, they have to lie. I believe it's the contrary, especially if an attorney is looking at the long run of building a career that is centered around being credible, being respected. Over time, with repetitive cases and ongoing transactions with stakeholders, that will come out. And that's why when I'm meeting with, with a client the first time and I'm talking to them, my goal is for me to set the right expectations and for me to be honest and truthful and present the options with realistic expectations to the client. And then the client to then assess for himself or herself whether they're comfortable with that. And then at that point, if they're comfortable, they can retain me. And that's why I think a consultation and intake essentially is an interview. The, the attorney should be interviewing the client. Is this the right client for me? Is this a client that I'm going to be able to truly help? Is this client going to, and vice versa, the client should be interviewing the attorney to decide on whether this is the right advisor, this is the right counselor that will be able to help me navigate through my problem and my situation. And when there's that mutual assessment and there's that mutual alignment, that's when you can have a successful relationship between the client and the attorney.